I have decided, and my sister, we actually went on in, in on this together because of course we're siblings, so it's gonna work for both of us. We decided to actually look up our DNA results and she has me doing it, which is good because I am going to be creating a video showing you guys exactly um, how I did it. We went with Ancestry DNA and I've never done this before. I never even opened the box yet. So this is the box right here. I'm just gonna open it and do everything on camera so that way in case you guys are interested in finding out your own DNA or um, ethnicity and all that good stuff, then you can see how it works. So it's packaged really well. This is exactly how it comes to you in the mail. This is what it looks like. The first thing it says is, welcome to the beginning of your story. Ooh. Before you spit, activate your kit online by phone or with our app first. Activating your kit with your unique code is the way to get your DNA um, results. So I, I guess I'm gonna have to go online and activate my kit. It's a good thing I have my phone right here. So while it's downloading, it's saying that my um, activation code is actually on the outside of my spit tube. Let me cover up the code. This is my spit kit. Oh, and then this is the return label box, or a return box. So while I wait for this to download, so yeah, I, my sisters and I, we've always, and my brother, we've always wondered like, what is our real ethnicity? So um, we've heard a lot of things. My mom has said that she, we have a little like Indian in us. We know we're African American. Uh, my sister also thinks we have a little Caucasian in us, but I feel like um, we have a little Hispanic in us. So we have a lot of, we, we're like a mixed breed, all right? And I just wanna figure out what exactly I am and if I'm telling people correctly because I've been telling you guys a lot of things and I don't even know if I'm telling you correct. So that's why we're doing it. All right, so I need to scan my code. I'll put this here so that way you guys don't have to see it. Tell us a little bit about yourself. So I have to tell my birth year. I have to tell whether I am a male or a female. I have to consent to them collecting my DNA. And they said when they process my DNA sample, they're gonna compare it to other ancestry members to see if I have any DNA in common. And so like I could probably find like a lost cousin or something like that um, and discover how I'm related to them. I can view their profiles, send messages to each other. That's pretty cool. There it goes, it's activated. All right, so this DNA kit has been activated by Mulan and now it's time to collect a saliva sample. It's best not to eat, drink, chew, or smoke for 30 minutes before for providing your sample. I'm trying to think. I don't think I have. I think we're good. I think we're good. I'm almost <laughs> I'm almost positive we're good. I just filmed another video before that, before this, and it was about half an hour long, and I did not eat. When was the last time I ate? I had coffee, but that was a couple hours ago, so. All right, let me collect my sample. I'm sure you guys don't want to see this part. So this is what they want you to do. Whoa, you want a lot of saliva. All right, so that is how much saliva they want. I don't even think I got that much. I'm not gonna show myself spitting on here. In fact, my mouth is dry. I may not even be able to have enough. <laughs> I'm not gonna show you guys spitting on here, but um, I'm gonna collect my sample. Fill it, oh. I gotta fill it to the black wavy line. That's disgusting. Guys, do not refill. I might underfill. All right, I'm not gonna show you. All right, give me a minute. Guys, this is taking forever. I don't think I got enough in me. It says do not include bubbles, but I feel like those, I don't know how to judge this, so I think we're good. All right, it says place the funnel. Oh, you now, I okay, so now I have to remove, I have to remove that part, and I'm gonna place this on top. Screw it tightly to release the solution that will stabilize the DNA in your saliva. Oh, that's pretty cool. It's like blue stuff going down. I don't think I can do it any tighter. Okay, Ooh, it's all in there. See, I don't know if you see the blue stuff from here. I don't think you need to see my spit, but yeah. So that's all in there. Oh, now I gotta shake it for five seconds. And it's giving me a countdown. All right. So now it's saying that it should be stabilized. Now I'm gonna place it in the bag. I'm hoping this is not boring, you guys. But um, now I'm placing it in the bag. I like that they give you the step-by-step -step directions. And no, I'm not getting paid to do this. This is something I wouldn't mind being paid to do, but I'm doing it for free. I'm actually paying them to do it for me. All right, so I'm mailing in my sample. And I'm gonna seal it with the adhesive strip. strip. Sorry, I'm like flying away. 
It says, thank you for activating your DNA kit. Do not forget to put it in the mail. <laughs> so I have to click that it was mailed. I'm mailing it tomorrow. We find out my results in two weeks, I believe. Um, you can tell them about yourself with um, your vision, your food. You can tell them about how you exercise and things like that. I'm not sure how that is going to help with anything. I, I know I told you guys I had eczema. I remember asking my mom, like, mom, is it hereditary? Is there anything that went on with my aunts or any, like, grandma, great grandma, anything. And she used to say that, um, or she told me that a few of my aunts did have skin problems. Like, when it came to eczema, and she has it, and my sisters have it. So it's kind of pretty, like, it's interesting to know what could be hereditary, something that maybe I don't know. Maybe it skipped a few generations. So I am interested to see what this comes up with. I'm interested in knowing what I am as well, especially with everything going on in the world today. I just think it's important to know what I am. And um, I don't know, what do you guys think I am? Like, what are your guesses? Let me know down below. I don't know what, what I could be, I don't know. So exciting to figure out, and I've had this for a couple weeks now, don't tell my sister, but <laughs> I've had this for a couple weeks now, and I was supposed to do this a while ago. So I'm hoping um, it doesn't take as long for me to get it back that I took to actually do it. Dang, it's saying on here it should be six to eight weeks for from the time that we receive your sample. Dang, that's a long time, yikes. Oh, that's a long time and it wants to be that long. Dang. Well, I'm hoping I get it back in two weeks. I was watching someone on um, um, YouTube and they said theirs only took two weeks. So let's just hope mine does not take that long because I might not even want to know after six to eight weeks. I might just be like, forget. Actually, I won't be. But, <laughs> but hopefully it doesn't take that long. I will be putting up a video when I do receive it. But let me know down below. Let's do like a... A guessing game let's see what you guys think I am and let's see if you're correct the next time I put it up you can always go back and look to see if you were correct or not so yeah that's basically it I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have done this before let me know were you correct about what you thought you were were you like completely off the wall maybe you thought you were black you turned out you were Asian you know let me know <laughs> what you think you you know were or let me know how it worked for you and of course that's it for today's video and i will see you in my next one thank you guys so much for watching and be sure to subscribe because when i get my results i will be posting another video thanks so much for watching and i will see you in the next one bye